All right, next we're going to be combining functions using f of x as one function and g of x as a second function. So those are just labeling your functions, and it's going to create a third function, h of x. So that's where when you see h of x, f and g of x, you're talking about three different functions. And those are just representing those functions. So some things to remember, polynomials are closed under addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So when you add, subtract, or multiply polynomials, the answer is still a polynomial. We can combine functions by adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And then like I said, let f and g be two functions, and a new function h can be created by performing the four basic operations on f and g. So let's do some examples. So it says, let f of x be this function and g of x be this function. It says, find an algebraic expression for h of x and determine its domain if f plus g of x equals h of x. Okay, so we're just adding those two. So remember, if you see it like this, it means f of x plus g of x. So we're just adding those functions together. And remember, we're combining like terms, so we don't have another x squared. So that goes away. 5x minus 4x, we get plus x. And then 1 plus 6, we get 7. And that would be your answer. Next, we're subtracting. So we're going to take those functions again, and we're going to subtract. So x squared plus 5x plus 1 minus negative 4x plus 6. So remember, distribute your negative. So this becomes positive 4x and negative 6. So we don't have another x squared, so that's going to be x squared. Then we move to our x's, we get 9x. And then 1 minus 6, we get negative 5. Okay, next we're multiplying. So we're going to multiply those functions together. x plus 6. So we're going to multiply or we need one more box. Negative 4x plus 6. We have our x squared plus 5x plus 1. So then we do our multiplying. So negative 4x times x squared, we get negative 4x to the third. Then we do negative 4 times 5, negative 20x squared, and then negative 4x. Then we do 6 times the top row, so 6x squared, 6 times 5x, 30x, and 6 times 1, 6. Okay, so we have like terms here. So we'll have negative 4x to the third. And then 6 minus 20, that's going to give us negative 14x squared. 30 minus 4 plus 26x plus 6. Okay, now we're going to divide. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 1 divided by negative 4x plus 6. So this we're not dividing since we're not on our rationals unit, so we're not dividing those yet. The only thing we're doing is the domain. So remember it said 
determine its domain. So the domain for this one, since it's not a polynomial, we can't have the bottom equal to zero. So negative four X plus six cannot equal zero. So then we'd solve for X. So we'd add four X. So we get six equals four X. Then we divide by four. So six divided by four reduces to three halves. So three halves equals X. So that means, or cannot equal X. So that means the domain is negative infinity to three halves and three halves to infinity. The domain for the rest of the functions, so a through c is negative infinity to infinity or all real numbers. So when you're doing your assignment, it might show that as your domain if it's asking for domain. So all real numbers for the domain. Or negative infinity to infinity on these. Okay, next is asking for function notation. So whenever we're plugging in a number for x, we want it in function notation. So f of x equals 3x minus 2 evaluated at two. So that means we're plugging in a two where we see an X. So three times two minus two. So it's gonna equal six minus two, which equals four. Next, we're gonna do a three. So three times negative three minus two. So have a negative nine minus two going to give us a negative 11 and even if you have a smiley face we can plug it in so three times smiley face minus two so that means we have three smiley faces subtract a two that would be your answer All right, now we're going to combine functions and then evaluate at a number. So we're going to add first, for example, a. We're gonna add the two functions and then put in a five where we have an x. So five x minus two plus x squared minus 3x plus 6. So we don't have an x squared. And then 5x minus 3x, so 2x. And then negative 2 plus 6 plus 4. So now we're going to put in that 5. So f of 5 equals... 5 squared plus 2 times 5 plus 4. So 5 squared, that's 25. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4. So 25 plus 10, that's 35. Plus another 4, we get 39. All right, next we're subtracting. So look how we're subtracting. So it's G subtract F. So we're gonna have X squared minus three X plus six minus five X minus two. So be careful you're watching what order it's asking for. For addition, it doesn't matter because you're not changing any signs but subtraction. Watch out for that. 
So no other x squared. Negative 3x minus 5x, so we get negative 8x. And remember that will turn to a positive 2, so 6 plus 2, because we distributed our negative, plus 8. So now we want to plug in that negative 1. So f of negative 1 equals negative 1 squared minus 8 times negative 1 plus 8. Negative 1 squared makes a positive 1. Negative 8 times a negative 1, positive 8, plus 8. So 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 again, plus 8 again is 17. Or 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 we get 17. Okay, now we're multiplying. So with this one, you can either plug in your numbers first and then multiply, or you can do your box and then multiply. It's up to you. Whichever way is comfortable and most easiest for you, do it that way. So we're going to multiply. So we're going to have a 2 by 3 box. So 5x minus 2, 3x plus 6, it's like a y, let's fix that. Okay, we're going to multiply, so 5x times x squared, we get 5x to the third. Then we have negative 15x squared, 5 times 6, we get 30x. Okay, next, negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times a negative 3 makes a positive 6x. And then negative 2 times 6 is a negative 12. All right, so we'll have 5x to the third minus 17x squared plus 36x minus 12. And then we want to evaluate at 7. So we have f of 7 equals 5 times 7 to the third minus 17 times 7 squared plus 36 times 7 minus 12. So you can put it in your calculator like this. Or you can do the math all out. So let's go ahead and try it in the calculator. So you can see how to put that in since it's a long problem with lots of exponents. It's easier just to put it in your calculator than to multiply each of them out and then add them together, you might come up with some mistakes. So if we put it in our calculator correctly, we should get to the right answer. Okay, so we're gonna start out with five. I'm gonna clear all this out. There we go. So five times times 7 to the third and then minus 17 oh it didn't put the minus in there times 7 squared plus 36 times 7 And then minus 12. And we push enter. We'll get 1122 or 1122.
Okay, or you can multiply each thing out. So remember, 7 to the third is 343. So you'd have 5 times 343. So you get 1715 minus 7 squared is 49 times a negative 17. You're going to get negative 833 plus 36 times 7. You get 252. minus 12 and then you would add those all together and you'd still get the 1122 all right let's move on to our dividing so we're going to divide g by f so remember, g is the x squared equation. So we'll have x squared minus 3x plus 6 over 5x minus 2. And remember, we can't equal that bottom. So remember, so we'd add 2. And then divide by 5. So x cannot equal 2 fifths. So keep that in mind in our answer. So when we're plugging in our negative 2, if we get 2 fifths as our answer, that means there's no solution. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So f of negative 2 equals negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 plus 6 over 5 times negative 2 minus 2. All right, negative 2 squared, that's a positive 4. Negative 3 times a negative 2, we get a positive 6 plus 6 over... 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 minus 2. So we'll have 4 plus 6 is 10 plus another 6 is 16. And then negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12. And then it's negative 16 over 12, negative 12. So we just reduce that fraction. So 4 can go into both of those. So it's going to be 4 thirds and with a negative. It doesn't equal our restriction, so four, negative 4 thirds will be our answer. And that is it for 1.1 polynomials and combining functions.